Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the webinar. We're going to start in a couple of minutes. Um, this is Jenny Pokemner from Juvenile Law Center, and Rachel Berger is with me, um, helping with technology and can answer some of your questions if you have any technological issues. While we wait, just again, a couple of minutes as people log on, if you can um, put in the chat um, box your name and where you're from, that would be great, just so we get a sense of who's here today. I'm excited um, that you're all here and um, excited to give you a tour of the new Know Your Rights Guide. So the chat panel is just um, in hopefully the right, right side of your computer unless you've moved it. Um, and um, if, again, if you're able to just chat in um, who you are and what county you're from, that would be great. I know there's at least one person who's there if you're able to chat in, just so we know the chat's working and we know you're there. All right, well, hopefully people will chat in soon. And I think we'll get started because we're about just a couple of minutes after three. Um, again, thanks so much for joining today. Um, we are really excited um, to be doing this webinar to reintroduce the Know Your Rights Guide to you all. I know for many of you um, who've been in Pennsylvania and done this work for a while, um, you've waited a long time for this guide and we're, we're really appreciative of your patience and the work you have done with us to do all of these revisions. And so what we want to do today is just to provide a very quick session today not to go through the guide in depth but really just to give you really a tour of the guide it's now a web-based guide um, we'll talk about how you can um, download it and print it out if you want to but our goal was to make something that was more user-friendly for young people and for you all as well um, so our plan today is just give you a quick background on the guide and its development again many of you have been part of it and we appreciate that. Um, give a little tour of the guide and then open it up to your questions. So we're gonna go right um, directly into the guide. So hopefully I will be able to give me one moment. We're gonna go into um, and I don't know, Rachel, if you can help me. I, I am having trouble getting um, getting this slide down. Um, I can't see you sharing your screen okay, right no. now. There we go. Can you see the the guide now? No, not yet. Oh. Okay, um, I do have it up, so I'm not sure if you can maybe give back screen sharing, or did I? Again, so sorry. You oh, have, there you we do go. Have control. There you go. There was just a bit okay. of a delay. <laughs> Excellent. I'm sorry, guys, for that technical difficulty, but here we are. So most of the time today, I'm going to be walking you through the guide, which is on our website, and um, I'll take you through the steps in, in one moment. But I wanted to start with the background. Many of you know we first developed this guide with partners, including Kids Voice Youth Advisory Board, many years ago. The first version, I think, was 2010, <laughs> so it's, it's been a while. Um, the guide has always been targeted at young people um, in and leaving foster care in Pennsylvania, and our goal has really been to inform them about their rights, about programs, benefits that are really targeted at them, um, and to really help give them tips and tools to advocate for themselves. So we always have been aiming to create a guide that our prime audience was young people, but we've always known that it's you all who are on the phone who are often the people that are introducing them to the guide and, and helping them use it, showing them how it's useful. So that's why we appreciate you all as partners so much, both in developing the guide, but also often as being the key um, connector between the young person and um, this information. So again, we really value you guys as, as people who are disseminating and explaining the guide to young people. Um, it is a web-based tool, as you see. It's on our website. Um, it's also um, 
works and you can access it on a mobile phone as well um, and it, it still looks really good on the phone as well so um, hopefully again these are ways that you and young people can access it that are again a lot more flexible and user friendly for you you definitely still can um, have the capacity to print out both chapters and the whole guide itself. So each chapter will give you an option to print out, um, download and print out a PDF. And then you can do the same with chapters and you can do that for the whole guide. But our hope was really that this becomes more of a web-based tool, that that's how you're using it. Because one of the things that we're really excited about um, by having this web-based is it's gonna enable us to be much more responsive, both to feedback that you all give us, as well as young people. It's gonna allow us to make revisions a lot more quickly. We're gonna be able to add content when you guys make suggestions, when we develop more tools. So we're excited that this is gonna enable us to not have to wait 10 years to do a revision, that we're gonna be able to respond a lot more quickly. Did wanna say that it still is a work in progress. These are, we have all the chapters posted, but so what we will be working on um, during the summer is creating um, some of the appendix appendices which will have more tools so you guys have seen and we've shared with you a bunch of tools that help you prepare for court um, and some other kind of fact sheets and brochures and one pagers we'll be posting them and having them linked to some of the chapters so we still um, have some work to do during the summer and again as i said we are really open to your feedback um, both about what we've posted already in terms of content but also your ideas for what you want to add because i really do feel like we're in a position with this being web-based to really respond um, quickly to to your concerns your questions um, some of the things that you want to add so again we're excited for that and look forward to hearing from you um, and getting your feedback um, we really, really are serious when we say we're, we're very open to it. Um, in terms of the development, and I'll say this at the end of the webinar, many of you on the call um, participated in revising, in editing, in giving feedback, helping us get youth feedback, and we so appreciate that. We couldn't have made this without you all, and a lot of, um, we made a lot of changes after we got feedback from you guys and from young people. So again, um, we want to continue to do that and really appreciate that, um, like the critique and the suggestions, if it can make the guide a lot better so we thank you for that but in terms of just navigating the guide um, when you get to our website you'd access it through jlc.org and as soon as you do get um, to our main page and, and I'll go back there just so you can see it from the beginning you go to um, the, the top and go to resources and when you go to resources then you just go to guides and while that is two steps once you get to guides we only have two and they're both really for for ones that you guys would probably use the two guides we have are the know your rights guide and then we have a higher a higher education guide which i'll mention at the end but this um, allows you to get pretty quickly um, to the know your rights guide and when you get to the Know Your Rights Guide, um, you would just click on it and it's going to get you to the first chapter, which is the introduction and list of chapters. And again, we're trying to make this as user friendly as possible is that when you get to the introduction, you're going to have a list of chapters that you can um, jump to, but you're also always going to have on the right side of your screen, you're always going to have all the chapters for you listed so that if you you know, wanna jump around or you forget, you can see them. So wherever you go um, in the guide, you will always have that band to, to kind of give you some different options. And then I'm gonna go over very quickly, I won't, you know, go in detail into each chapter, but wanted to give you a sense of the chapters. And you will notice if you remember the old Know Your Rights Guide that um, we have a lot more chapters than we had in the first guide. And some of the feedback we got was that a request to have information in smaller chunks. So it does look like um, more, <laughs> more information, and it is. I do think we added more information in this guide, but definitely our attempt was to try to break it down into more manageable chunks. It still is a question and answer um, format like we had in the old guide. And again, we use your feedback and feedback from youth to try to structure those questions is kind of the questions that we knew you all and young people were um, most interested in um, 
hearing and knowing that youth would want information on. I just wanted to let you all know, it does look like um, we have a technical glitch with the chat box and that you're not able to chat in, but that if you want to, and we really encourage you, if you wanna, um, submit a question or even just a comment if you could use the question panel that's going to enable us to hear from you and apologies that i didn't realize that we had that problem but please please do um, write in any of your questions and we'll we'll definitely get to them or comments so this is this is just the summary of of the chapters and just wanted to highlight um we tried to make the chapters kind of as straightforward in terms of it when you read the, the chapter title you know what's in there um, and some of the chapters um, are very short um, but a couple are a little more lengthy and i'll show you how we have a little more um, breakdown in terms of um, sub subsections and chapters but definitely wanted to just kind of sh as as a way to sh do a little bit of a tour um, i think you know based on our experience that Chapter one and two are, are going to be chapters that you're probably visiting a lot with young people. So rights related to family and permanency really help you flesh out, you know, what is permanency, what is it in terms that young people um, will understand and, and will address some of the questions they have in terms of different permanency options. Also things related to visitation with family and then other caring adults. And then I think um, chapter two probably is one you're going to get a lot of attention from young people on. And, and these are um, kind of rights and placement. And again, I think these are things that many of you talk to us about and young people talk to you about, things about rights and placement. Um, what, what am I allowed to do? What's the agency allowed to do? Um, things around privacy, things around um, access to phones and activities. And then we do have in this chapter the section about normalcy um, and activities. And um, we created, based on kind of young people's feedback, this fifth section of the chapter, which is just FAQs on specific activities. And that really goes through very in a very kind of straightforward way, um, questions that kind of um, spring from that normalcy conversation. So things about, can I date? Can I get a driver's license? And again, really attempts to catalog some of the questions that for us are kind of like our most, our most received questions and some of the questions um, we get get from you. So this is a chapter I'm imagining you're going to be you know, using a lot with young people as well as the permanency one. So just wanted to flag that. And here you can see how for some of these longer chapters, we do have these, div these kind of subsections to help divide up. But then for example, when you do um, go to this like rights and placement, it's gonna take you down and you'll see that it's still structured as a Q and A um, and does really again try to pinpoint the an the questions and answers we get the most from young people and that you guys have told us um, of our most interest to young people the other thing just to notice which um, is probably now really clear is that we do have these kind of call out boxes and these really um, do reflect a lot of the youth feedback we got of what is the most important to them so again we're still looking for feedback from you if there's particular things you recommend we call out please let us know but you'll definitely throughout the guide um, be able to see these call out boxes and then you can always go back to the top um, using that um, arrow and I wanted to flag again you know just taking you through a couple of the chapters that um, to give you the example um, chapter four is about post-secondary education and training. And so what I did want to note to you all, as many of you all were at our webinar probably the week before last or last week, that um, where we talked about our higher education guide. And the higher education guide that we have posted is really for you all, it's for professionals. And so we we always had intended that you all would use that, that guide to kind of um, navigate the higher ed process um, and support for young people. But um, when you want to go through this and have materials for youth directly, that you could use this chapter to complement that. So just wanted to flag that because it's the the 
higher education guide really is not necessarily youth friendly. It's really targeted at um, helping you all in knowing all the different benefits and programs. But if you want a chapter that's really going to help explain to a young person um, planning for higher education and some of those benefits that you can then go to this chapter and um, go through some of these questions with them. The other thing that we tried to do, and you'll see throughout the guide, is we tried to limit the number of links just for um, to avoid the risk of having links, you know, become dead links and have them be ineffective. But we definitely do have a bunch um, that you'll see, and they often go to really important things like applications and things that you need. And then the other thing you'll see links for is um, we definitely did want to make sure where we were talking about something that was based on law or regulation that we did give you the legal citation for it. Um, that may not be something a young person needs or is looking for, but we did want to make sure if you needed to look for that information that you could easily get this. So these um, hyperlinks will get you down to um, an EndNote chapter and then give you the citation for the regulation or the law. And we'll try our best to kind of make sure everything's updated and that those links, you know, are effective for you and, and don't send you to, you know, an error page. Um, but definitely is something that I think some, some um, of our audience really wanted because when we tell you in one of these questions that this is a right or this is something you're entitled to, we do want to make sure that you're able to go to the place that really is the authority for that. So, Flipping back just to the introduction and chapters, um, as you see, if you if you we hope that ideally you're using this um, on the web and and sharing it with youth and navigating, showing them how to use it on the web or on their phones. But if you do want to print things out, at the end of each each chapter, you're going to get an option to download the chapter and then at the beginning the full guide. Um, we have to do some fine tuning because we got some really good feedback. Um, as soon as we released, we don't, the, we're completing a title page. So right now when you open the full guide, it, it starts in the introduction. So we'll be pay, posting um, a title page. So you have that and that if you do like print it out for your office, it, it will be very clear what it is. Um, and it, it, you know, printing out chapters might work work best for if there's a particular issue. For example, maybe you're working with a young person on um, on extension of care and reentry. That that might be something where you do want to. Um, print out this chapter for them and um, download it and then print it out for them. So when you scroll to the end of the chapter, you will um, get to that option. And we'll probably be doing a little bit of um, you know, fine tuning of that to make sure that that PDF um, document looks as good as possible for you, because we do admit that we really were focusing on getting the web based um, version up. And so we're still doing a little fine tuning with the PDF, but it definitely is up and it's accurate. But um, we probably will work on making it a little more visually appealing <laughs> um, in the coming days. So again, be patient with that. But if you need it right now, the all the information um, is accurate. So in terms of how to use the guide, I don't think you guys need much instruction from me for that. But I think, it, like as I said in the beginning, we really do rely on you guys to be kind of the connector between the guide and the young person. And we do think, as you guys have probably experienced in your work with young people, that probably the best way to introduce it is through, you know, when they're asking you a question. Um, so for example, if a young person is asking you about extended foster care and reentry, sitting them down and opening up the guide together and navigating it, things like that. You can also, I think, introduce it to them by using, you can always use, you know, our search engine um, to, to um, search some terms and then, oops, so sorry. Okay. Um, you can use our, our search function and, and search with them. So basically it's going to function like most of the websites you all are familiar with. But I do think that, you know, um, 
introducing it to them when you're doing your casework visits, when you're maybe in an IL session, or maybe when they just come to you and you're talking about a topic, navigating it with them. Um, we're really interested in learning more from you about kind of other ways. We're really happy if you're doing YAB meetings or IL sessions and you want me to present, you know, virtually or however it works to help, you know, do some of this like tour guiding of the guide. I'm happy to do that. Um, and also, like I said, we're really interested in if there's particular ways you think um, that would be best to introduce it to young people, um, let us know and we're really open um, to those ideas. And then as I said at the beginning, um, we really do thank you all. Um, I know that many of you on the call um, helped with revising the guide and we really do appreciate it. Um, we thanked a bunch of you in the intro, but I'm sure there were many others that um, we did really do. Um, we thank and um, really appreciate your um, editing and, and I'll continue to say it like we do want you to tell us what's working, what you like about this and what you don't, because we I'm really excited that it's it's web based and I feel like that the ability to make it better to add um, is so much easier. So we want you guys to tell us that um, and and really don't hesitate. So I think that's kind of the quick um, tour of the guide, but I do want to see if we do have any questions. And Rachel, I might need you um, to let me know if there are, because I'm not sure that I am seeing um, a question box on, on my screen. No problem. There is one raised hand. Um, okay. I don't know if that is intentional or not, but uh, feel free to put your question in the question box. Okay. Yeah, we're really um, excited to hear from you all whether this um, looks like this is going to be helpful to you, if there's any concerns you have. I definitely know we've gotten some feedback that many of you really still are in the position where having it in a hard copy is what what you need and like I said we really do want to make that possible um, so definitely would want to make it look a little better for you but um, really are interested um, of, your, of your thoughts um, on this and and you know ideas for um, any improvements. We do have one question okay. um, when will the next Know Your Rights training be for youth? So no, thank you for asking that. So we don't do we don't deliver directly the trainings um, and haven't for many years. Um, I think um, and I don't I, I think that we are happy to help um, counties in, in delivering those trainings. Um, we have a curriculum that is um, not really tied to the web-based version so it doesn't take you through um, the web web-based version it really is just about the content that people can still use um, i think that developing a new training and maybe one in collaboration with the yab is something that we'd like to do um, so we aren't really able to do the trainings for you, but we definitely can help you um, in planning one for yourself, helping you kind of build some of the materials, um, or I'm sorry, the exercises, um, some of the activities, if people would like. And I do think that was another thing for the summer that we did want to do was talking with um, our great partners at the Child Welfare Resource Center, um, Megan and Cindy, to see if that's something maybe that we do want to develop in collaboration um, with YAB and CWRC, because um, I know that they they were instrumental in getting this guide out. Um, and we did really want to go back and talk more about what a training and curriculum would look like. But until we have that, if people do want to email me just about if they want to do some of these kind of even just introducing the guide during the summer and maybe developing a couple of activities, I'm definitely open to working with people on that. But we don't have kind of um, a, a set curriculum yet. Thank Related you for asking that. that. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of questions on uh, promoting the guide and accessing. So someone asked if there's a one-page flyer um, for the guide. 
as well as um, when a caseworker is in the field, is the guide accessible on smartphones? So um, definitely accessible on smartphones. Um, so definitely take a look. I, we've been trying that out and it definitely, um, you can read everything. It looks very good. So um, it definitely you can access it on your smartphone. But thanks for, for suggesting the one pager because I will say right now what we've had is more an announcement to you guys, our colleagues. But I think it does make sense for us to have a flyer that's youth to, that's that's targeted at youth that expl that's explaining what that this is. So we can definitely do that. That's a really great idea. And as I said, like, I know this isn't the same as like a, a formal training on the content, but if you do, you know, particularly while things are being done virtually, um, if you're having an, an IL group and you want, you know, me to call in and by Zoom or whatever and describe the guide and do a little tour. And like I said, maybe one or two little activities, that's definitely doable. Um, I know that's not, the same as like a training about content, but definitely in terms of promoting the guide, I think that's definitely something we can do during the summer and that during the summer we'll kind of work with, with you all to figure out what a substantive training about the material would be. Um, so definitely reach out, you know, I'm really interested for some of the regional YAB meetings if that's an option and something you all would like. Um, and other forums you can think of. Um, definitely let me know because getting the word out is, is, you know, the big goal for the summer. Um, so any ideas you have, we'll do our best to make ourselves available to, um, you know, be at those things, whether it be, you know, virtual or by phone. Someone had also asked um, if they're working with a youth with a specific rights question that's not covered in the guide or a highly specific question, is there um, a person at JLC they could direct the question to? So you guys can definitely use our information referral line. We do have to send everyone through that, but it will get assigned to people like me or or these kinds of questions will end up going to me and others um, who who work in the child welfare area. So we do our best to get those those costs quickly, but it that is really the best way to do it. And for many of you are on the webinar you know you can email me so that's another way too but i think we do want particularly as part of kind of this developing self-advocacy skills we will do our best to make things as kind of easy to access for young people as possible but definitely um being kind of teaching that tools and you know that skill is, an, is um, a way to do things but you all will know that you can always you know send me an email and say hey you know, we were calling the information referral line um, and if you want additional information. So I, I think um, that's totally fine, but definitely we're, we're trying to make our information referral line, um, you know, accessible to young people. Um, so my hope is that that will be their experience and, you know, you guys can give us feedback on that. But it will be assigned to the, the people who have that expertise. Well, thank you everyone for joining. Um, feel free um, to, to email me if you have additional questions. Um, we do want to make ourselves accessible to people, so always feel free um, to reach out. Um, I will definitely work on a flyer that um, is directed at young people um, that you all can use as well. And then um, again, really looking forward for your feedback as you go through the guide um, and really are open to critiques, suggestions, um, anything that will help you and help the young people you're working with. And we'll definitely continue over the summer to, to talk more about developing trainings. Um, and then in the meantime, you know, just reach out and we'll figure out um, something. So during the summer, you know, you can um, get help with whatever you need to get this information across to young people. I'm not sure if this was on a previous slide, but someone asked uh, for your email, Jenny. Okay, all right. Sorry, I should have I should have remembered to do that. So I'm just gonna go to this agenda slide and just write it up for you guys. 
I can put it in the chat as well. Okay. All right, well, um, this is my first half an hour webinar, so that's great. Um, and thank you for the questions. Really good ideas for a flyer. Um, thanks for everyone for coming today. Thanks to everyone for helping um, develop the guide. And I do really look forward to hearing um, from you all as you use this and as we continue to make improvements. Have a very good Thursday afternoon. Thank you, Rachel. Rachel? Yes, Rachel, you one second. Okay. Okay, I was making sure I can see. Um, so the questions were in chat, but but for people it was seen as questions. Yes. 